Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You are watching Mainframe Practical Tutorials Part 10. So today in this video, in this video I would like to share practically about working with move statements and showing different level numbers which is very important. So let's go ahead and see how the move statement works. So the move statement so this is your cobalt program where you code id division program id environment divisions and data division and i have declared a 77 level number uh, ws a b c d this is of alpha numeric of 10 bytes alpha numeric of 8 bytes and the numeric of 8 bytes and numeric of 5 bytes i have declared two groups group 1 and group 2 and this group 1 is a a b b c c and uh, you can see a different kinds of uh, data types I have declared. One was alphanumeric, numeric, and only alphabets. Okay, so group two. So this is level one, and uh, after level number one, you have to increase the level numbers. If you are if zero one is your group number, then it should be zero two or zero three or zero four anything. But it should be in increasing. It should be in increasing order. So this, I mean, the theoretical part of level numbers I have co covered in my uh, theoretical theoretical videos. If you want, you can just check it to you. Uh, just check, you can just check it to the theoretical videos of uh, about uh, move and uh, level numbers concept theoretically. So this is group two in procedure division. I'm trying to accept four different variables a, b, c, d, and then move statement is proceeded as like this move w s a to WSAA of group 1 so WSAA is from group 1 so in this particular group 1 you have uh, this particular variable defined so I'm trying to copy those things in the same way WSBB to group 2 group 1 and group 2 so we'll, we'll try to display this all this WSA B C D and group 1 and group 2 you either either you can display individually either you can display it separately or you can sub you can display individually so group 1 is having same variables defined and group 2 is also having same variable defined so if you want to copy to specific group 2 WSAA or group 1 WSAA you have to display you have to make it you have to get define it as WSBB of that particular group where you want to exactly move this so in the same way display WSFNA, B, C and T display group 1 and group 2 so that's it. this is a simple move and uh, level numbers program so now we will try to compile this program so just compile it okay enter enter yes it's been successfully compiled now we will try to run it okay run the cobalt program so your program name is move your load library where the compiled load library sits here so I'm giving four variables welcome to tutorials and eight bytes as I said so there were two numeric I mean alphanumeric da uh, data types and two numeric data types for alphanumeric I'm entering a text I mean you uh, text here last welcome to and uh, tutorial and one to three eight bytes and uh, five bytes okay we'll run enter 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 yes and it with written code zero so we'll see the results see the results of it so what is happened here okay this is also, yes you can see so uh, whatever the things have been displayed in the cobalt program the same you can see it here display a b c d so you can see a b c d okay a b c d it is combined together it is combined together and displayed here in the same way you are displaying individually group 1 and group 2 group 1 and group 2 is displayed group 1 and group 2 is displayed individually okay that's all this is a simple uh, program about uh, working with move statements and different level numbers thank you so much for watching this video if you kind if you like this video kindly please subscribe or like
comment on my YouTube channel. So I will be coming up with more and more practical and theoretical and interview point of questions, which I would like to share to the entire world, so that it would be help them who are want to start their career in the mainframe, mainframe technology, or who who want to just to refresh their mainframe skills. So it would be very much easy to them. So. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great and a wonderful day.